What's up everyone on the internet? Thank you for making this video party. I am so excited to upload this one for you guys because this video we're going to be taking a look at an anime that made me smile and laugh from beginning to end and that's Little Witch Academia. So this anime was released on Netflix back in 2017 and funny thing is when Hogwarts Legacy came out last year I remember seeing everyone go crazy over this Harry Potter video game that lets you live out your fantasy which ultimately led me to watch this anime and based on what I saw from the first three episodes I immediately realized that if I was ever sent to Hogwarts this is exactly how my story would play out but we're getting ahead of ourselves. So like I said, this anime came out back in 2017 and it's centered around a girl named Akko who wants to be a witch like her childhood idol, but she doesn't know any magic at all. And yet somehow she gets enrolled into Luna Nova, which is essentially Hogwarts. And along the way, she meets a girl named Lotte who's pretty knowledgeable with magical antiques. And she also meets a girl named Susie who's very crafty with potions, but she's also kind of cynical. Now, what made this anime so relatable is the fact that you have this character who is obsessed with learning about magic and yet she can't even do any magic whatsoever. I just find that so funny and ironic because imagine if you got enrolled into Hogwarts only for the sorting hat to put you in the house of muggles. But anyway, while Akko doesn't have any magic to begin with, she does have the wand that once belonged to her idol, which apparently is like the Elder Wand if we're keeping up with the Harry Potter comparisons. So while she does have this all-powerful wand, she doesn't know how to use it yet until one of her professors guides her into locating the missing spells that will actually unlock the true power of the wand. And all this happens within the first episode of the season, and after that, the show just takes off from there. Now one of the things I liked about this anime is where the story takes place because while magic is cool, it's also kind of obsolete given how the show takes place in today's world where everyone has a smartphone in their pocket and it kind of answers some questions that I've had for a while like what happens when technology is able to keep up with magic? What happens to the wizards and witches when they realize that regular people can do some of the things that they can do? Now, while you don't see any humans flying around on jetpacks, you do see how the advent of the internet is able to make daily challenges much more easier to handle, as opposed to witches who are a little bit old fashioned, but are still leagues ahead of what humans are capable of. But anyway, throughout the course of the season, not only do we get to watch these characters go on random adventures and learn more about magic, but we also have this overarching story about uncovering the secrets of the Elder Wand. Now, even though the first half of the season is all over the place in the best possible way, it's not until midway through until you meet the antagonist who does propel the story further by pitting science versus magic. And I love how this anime takes you on a wild ride as you see all different kinds of spells and monsters, while at the same time, you are introduced to characters who have their own distinguishable traits. So while I had a lot of fun with the story, what made the experience even better was the animation itself, and Studio Trigger knocks it out of the park. I mean, one of my favorite episodes of Star Wars Visions, and possibly one of my favorite Star Wars stories ever told, was the Studio Trigger episode titled The Twins, because it showed me how they can take one small concept and dial the animation to 100. And we see that in this anime as we see a lot of spells and monsters go nuts on the screen, and it made me think, if Hogwarts was like this, sign me up. So going back to this series, one thing that was a nice little surprise was that apparently there was a movie that takes place right in the middle of the season. Why Netflix has not released it, I do not know, but you know what, I had a lot of fun with it despite being labeled as a movie, when in reality it's about an hour long special. But anyway, I really enjoy this anime. It's funny, it's witty, and most importantly, it's magical. From beginning to end, you follow Akko as she embarks on this journey of essentially self-discovery because while she does need to learn more about the Elder One, in the process she learns a little bit more about herself and I love how this anime sprinkles some of those hidden lessons throughout the entire season. So like I said, I had a lot of fun with this anime as it feels like they took the magic of Harry Potter and dialed it all the way to 10 as you go on this wild magical ride. So if you're a huge Harry Potter fan or if you like magic and fantasy, I highly recommend you watch this show. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. That was my overall view on Little Witch Academia. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button to go to this channel. I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye-bye.